sharks, stingrays, giant squid. Let's face it, there are a lot of sea creatures that can kill you, including this cute little guy. Yeah, you do not want to mess with jellyfish. Box jellyfish are dangerous and cause severe injuries and death. More than sharks, sea snakes, and stingrays combined. What happens if you swim into a swarm of box jellyfish? And does peeing on the sting really help? You're gonna have to pee on it. This is your body on being stung by a swarm of jellyfish. Jellyfish are 95% water and contain a translucent jelly substance named mesoglea, making them look soft. They don't have a brain, but if you think you can fool them, well, <laughs> some species, like the box jellyfish, have 24 eyes that say otherwise. Now, that's what I call ocean surveillance. Unlike most jellyfish, box jellyfish hunt their prey. And they can swim fast, up to 7.4 kilometers per hour. Yeah, even Michael Phelps could barely outswim them, so I hope you're in good shape. Box jellyfish have hundreds of thousands of tiny cells located on their tentacles called cnidocytes. These capsules hold microscopic barbed stingers containing potent venom. If they're disturbed, they'll fire these stingers at speeds of more than 60 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately for you, you just swam right into a swarm of them. Depending on your age and health, you might only have minutes to live. Sadly, severe reactions are most common in children. Damn all the jellyfish! The sting. You've been stung, but you have enough strength to swim away from the swarm. The venom starts coursing through your body. As it makes its way into your blood vessels, the pain is excruciating. To make matters worse, your wounds are starting to itch, swell, and turn purple. You feel disoriented from all the pain, but focus. You need to swim to shore as fast as possible for treatment. A few minutes. Miraculously, you made it, but you're in bad shape. You're having muscle spasms, and no, it's not from all that swimming. The venom is sending potassium into your bloodstream, and your heart could stop within five minutes. You may have heard that urinating on the wound can help, but this is just a myth. Urine could actually make things worse. How could they get any worse? Yeah, your pee contains a lot of water, and in this scenario, fresh water is not your friend. It can trigger the release of more poison. Pull the stingers out of your skin with a pair of tweezers, not your bare hands. Pour seawater or vinegar into the wound. This will help deactivate any undischarged stingers. Once you remove the stingers, you can apply a pain-relieving ointment or rinse with hot water to reduce the burning sensation. Which is ironic. And if you find yourself struggling to breathe, you might be having an allergic reaction. Take an antihistamine immediately. Take an antihistamine, they're, they're over there. 30 minutes. Okay, you're at the half hour mark and you should feel better by now. I feel good. Unless you were stung by one of the smallest box jellies. Karukia barnesi, commonly known as irukanji, is a highly poisonous jelly that inhabits Australian waters. Its bell diameter barely reaches two centimeters, but a stroke of this tiny fella can cause the irukanji syndrome, a serious side effect that starts about 30 minutes after the sting. I am starting to come back again. You'll experience intense pain, nausea, and high blood pressure. This could cause a brain hemorrhage and sometimes death. Okay, now that you've proven you're a strong swimmer, do you think you could make it across the Atlantic Ocean? Well, that sounds like a challenge for another episode of Your Body On.